So have you ever wondered how two people could be trying to achieve the same goal, whether it's building a business, having an amazing relationship, getting a better body, right, committing to a diet, whatever it is. Have you ever wondered how those two people could have the same goal yet get dramatically different results, right? One person in the business case, for example, could go and build that business relatively quickly and with relative ease, and it just seems like they're floating through the process and they have exponential growth, whereas the other person might stay stuck, broke, confused, a lot of stress and anxiety, and, and kind of just trapped for years and, and just stay in this cycle. And I've seen that so much, especially in the online business world where there are people who just come into the industry and boom, they just take off. And there are other people who just stay in the same exact spot year after year after year. And I always wondered, how is that possible? Because I've been on both ends of the spectrum. I've, um, you know, I've achieved quite a lot in quite a short amount of time. And at the same time, I've failed a lot and went through a lot of stress, anxiety, confusion, and, and definitely had my fair share of negative bank accounts. Uh, more times than I can count, honestly. So I always wondered, how is it possible to get these two different sets of results, both for myself and for people I saw you know, outside of me and kind of people who were on the same journey as me. And I always wondered, what is it that allows some people to go so fast and what is it that keeps the, you know, the same people stuck for so long? And after being on this journey for about five years now in online marketing um, and building online businesses, I've kind of zoomed out and analyzed my entire journey, kind of like if you're looking at a graph, right, over, over the years. And I've kind of just looked at my life as that graph and saw the, the very, very low points and the very, very high points. And I said, okay, what was going on here and what was going on there? Because I realized at some point in my journey that there was some sort of cycle going on. There was some outside forces that were acting on me. I just didn't know what they were. And that's why I wanted to make this video for you was to number one, um, you know, kind of show you what's going on here. I call these the two master forces of business and show you like when you get these right and when you have them in, uh, you know, in unison here, when you have them coexisting perfectly, you get kind of like the yin and yang, the, the balance, right? And when you have this balance, you're able to achieve a lot more, a lot faster with a lot less stress. And that's really the purpose of this video is to show you what these are, make you aware of what these forces are and how you can use them in your own life and in your business on your entrepreneur journey so that you can save a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of stress and anxiety and confusion because I think that's honestly the worst part, staying stuck for so long and, and not really knowing why you're stuck. So when you have these two forces, you're going to be able to basically blow by everyone. I mean that so literally. Like you will just fly past people and it's not about, you know, beating the competition or anything like that. You know, everyone's on their own journey and we should help each other along that journey. However, you are going to notice substantial results compared to people who aren't aware of these two forces and, and really leveraging them. So the first force is clarity. And why clarity is so important, I'll move over here so you can see it. Why clarity is so important is because it gives you a roadmap to follow and it shows you where to go, right? Like if you were, if you were trying to get from New York to, you know, I don't know, California, right? And you just jumped in your car and you didn't really know where you were going, but you're like, okay, I'm just gonna take this journey across the country and hopefully I make it there. And you just stepped on the gas and you just kinda like went where your heart took you. You wouldn't really get very far or you'd get pretty far, but you go in the wrong direction, right? And that's what a lot of people do is they jump into the online business world and they say, okay, I wanna build an online business, I wanna make money, I wanna be an entrepreneur, I wanna do these things. And they, they kinda just float around from thing to thing to thing to thing and following this guru and that guru and buying this course and that course and trying this business, that one over here and doing some of this and doing some of that. And they never really make substantial progress. They never really accomplish their goals. They never get to their end destination. And you know, that's why we invented GPSs, right? That's why we have maps. That's why we have road signs. Those are things that allow us to get to our destination much faster. The, the person who, you know, if two people are, are um, taking the same road trip to California and one person has a GPS and the other is kind of just listening to their, their heart um, or just kind of like trusting that they'll make it there, the person with the GPS is going to win every single time. And not to say that following your heart isn't important. Obviously it is. That's, that's what led you to this video at, at some level, right? That's extremely important. Your intuition is extremely important. However, you do need to balance that out with clarity on where you want to go, why you want to go there, 
and how you're going to get there. And that's what clarity is. So when you have clarity, you're able to go a lot faster because you know which turn to take, which road to go down. You don't have to guess. You don't have to look down at the, you know, the fork in the road and say, should I go down left or should I go down right? You just know, you follow the GPS. The GPS knows way more than you do because it sees the bigger picture and it says, just go right. I promise it's gonna work. And that's the power of clarity, yet it seems so simple when we look at it in this example. However, when you're you know, starting your entrepreneur journey, most people don't really understand the power of this. They don't understand the, the power of hiring a coach or a mentor, for example, to guide them to where they wanna go. They say, oh, I'll just figure this out on my own. It can't be that hard. It's only online marketing. It's, oh, it's only a simple business. I'll, I'll figure it out. And they end up going in circles for years and years and years. And I've seen this over and over and over again. And I experienced this for myself when I first jumped into online marketing. I spent about maybe eight months to a year really learning everything myself because I didn't have money to invest in a course. So I was, um, you know, I was kind of just watching free webinars. I was watching YouTube videos. I was doing all these different things. And it wasn't until I actually hired a mentor. I'll never forget. I hired uh, my first online mentor. His name was Adam for $5,000, which to me at the time was a lot of money. Um, but I basically scraped together a bunch of money. I took out a credit card. I begged my younger brother for a loan. Um, I sold some stuff. And I basically got this money together because I'd been failing for a year. And I said, okay, the only way I'm going to, you know, I'm, I can't go through this anymore. Like, I want to win and I want to win now. Like, I really want to accomplish my goals. I want to break free. I want to have this life I dreamed of. And I want it now. And I knew that that mentor was the key to do it. And I hired Adam as a mentor and he showed me what to do. And within two weeks of working with him, I had earned... Uh, it was either twelve or fourteen thousand dollars in affiliate commissions online, and that was more money than I had like ever made in my life. I was just like, "Wow, this is possible," and I'm just going up from here. And that's the power of having a mentor who just shows you: do this, then do this, then do this, then do this, and just kind of guides you throughout the journey. Otherwise, it's kind of like you're going through the jungle and you've just got your machete, and you're just like, uh, "Okay, I'm going to go try to find the the treasure right now." Like that's really difficult to do. Whereas if you just had a map and it just drew you exactly to where the treasure is, you can walk through and actually go and you know find your treasure much faster. And and you're probably going to have a much more enjoyable journey doing it because I'll tell you like you know, chopping in, in the jungle for uh, six months going that way when you really should be going that way is not fun. You've just exerted a lot of uh, energy, you've wasted a lot of time, a lot of resources, and, and you are a lot more stressed out than when you started. <laughs> so clarity is extremely important. You can get clarity by asking yourself a few different questions. Number one, you can ask, what do I want? So really think about what you want in this, in this journey. What is it that you want? What is the outcome? Not just, I want to make money because there's a million ways to make money. Get extremely clear on what you want. For example, right, you can start, you can start here, right? This is your, your starting point. And one person will say, I want to make money online. The other person will say, I want to make money online, but I want to do it in a way that earns me complete time, location, and financial freedom. See how they're very different outcomes there? One person could you know, make $5 by filling out an online survey. Uh, the other person will build a sustainable leverage business that will give them their outcome because your brain will just focus on that outcome. If, a, if an opportunity presents itself, but you know, it allows you to make money, but it doesn't give you that freedom, which a lot of these business models, you know, they don't give you that freedom, um, you're going to avoid that one because you're, you know your outcome. You have clarity. So you want to ask yourself, what do you want? why you want it, and this is going to really generate emotions inside of you, which will you know, keep you taking action and keep you excited. So you know, I want to create a business that gives me complete time, location, and financial freedom. And the reason I want it is so that I could travel the world or I can spend more time with my, you know, my wife or my husband or my, my boyfriend, my girlfriend, my kids. I want to be able to take them on vacations and go off for three weeks and shut my phone off because I'm tired of this social media nonsense and I just want to you know, spend time with my family. Then you know exactly what you want why you want it. And the last part is how am I going to get there? And this is a, a tricky one because a lot of the times you don't really know how you're going to get there. A lot of the times the information is all over the internet, right? Pretty much everything you want to learn is all over the internet. Like you can figure out pretty much everything. Just like they, they say there's a book written on every topic you ever want to learn. So that, that's the internet on steroids, right? Like internet, the internet has everything you could ever want to learn. But the problem is like that's what I thought when I started. Okay, I want to learn this business model. I'll just go out and research a bunch of different things on YouTube and all these things. But the problem is it's scattered and it's not complete. It's like someone gave you a, a map to that treasure, but it was just like 
slashed in all these different pieces and, and you're just trying to put it together and you're like, what the hell? It's like you've got all these, these puzzle pieces like thrown out in front of you and someone's like, okay, good luck. And you're just like, I don't even know what the picture looks like. Like, I don't even know what to be looking for. I don't even, I don't know anything about this business. I don't know anything about this world. Like, okay, this is going to take me some time. And, and that's really what I did for a year was just spinning my tires. And I learned a lot, but the mentor that I hired really helped me glue everything together and just get there so much faster. So it's important to, um, you know, leverage other people's clarity. You can go to someone who has the clarity on how to do what you want to do and just ask him, just get their proven blueprint, right? Buy their course, invest into their mentorship. It is so worth it. Like the, the cost of most mentorship programs, the guy just invested into a program that costs $45,000 a year to be a part of. And I just know that it is going to save me like literally just decades. Like what, would I rather spend that amount of money or go on this crazy journey for decades? It's a no brainer, right? You'll always make money back. You'll always generate money, but you can never get your time back. So that's why it's so important to Go to someone who has the clarity on what you want to do and just see how they did it. Get their proven roadmap. So that's the first master force, clarity. And I think you can see by now like why this is so important and how this will let you go so much faster and with so much less stress. Like I can't even describe how much less stress when you just, you just can put all your energy into doing instead of figuring out, oh my God, what do I need to do? That's really the hard part, figuring out what you need to do. The doing isn't really so hard. So that brings us to the second master force, which is momentum. And momentum is really the force that allows you to accomplish your, your goals, your dreams, your vision. It allows you to bring that to reality because it's great to have clarity. It's the first part, right? If you, if you don't have clarity, you're going to most likely build negative momentum, right? Like the, the people who are shouting at you to, uh, to go hustle all day long and, and go and, and grind, grind, grind. Like I respect that. And you need that work ethic as an entrepreneur. However, if you don't have clarity and you start with just taking action in all these crazy directions, you're going to burn yourself out and you're going to use a lot of your energy. You're going to burn up a lot of resources and waste a lot of time. And I spent a long time doing that, like years and years and years in these different business models, just kind of like, like really stressing myself out and wasting a lot of time because I didn't have clarity. I had a lot of energy and a lot of excitement and a lot of enthusiasm and I was fired up and I was taking action. I had no problem taking action. However, I lacked clarity. And it was, if you, uh, if you know like how Tony Robbins says, it's like you're running east looking for a sunset. It just, if you don't have the right strategy, it doesn't matter how hard you work, you're gonna be going in circles for a very long time. So first you need clarity and then when you have the game plan and know what you need to do, then you actually need to go and take the action to do it. And when you start taking even small actions, like for example, even investing into a course or a, a, you know, a mentor or even watching a video like this, you're gaining clarity, right? And at the same time that you're gaining clarity, you're also building momentum because you can probably feel right now, you're like, oh wow, like, okay, like, I can see how this can help me. Like, this can definitely help me. And maybe you're seeing some areas where you've been tripped up in the past and you're seeing why you've been tripped up. Well, you're building momentum. You're building positive momentum. Like you're taking small steps to get you closer to your goal, but you need to build upon that. You need to continue upon this. You need to, and you know, invest more into yourself, whether that's watching videos or getting a course or, you know, having a phone call with someone who, who has done what you want to do and then taking that information and then actually applying it and implementing it and getting those real results because you can have all the information in the world but if you don't act on it, it's, it's useless, right? They say knowledge is power, and it is. However, knowledge without execution is pretty damn useless because otherwise it just stays up here. And there are plenty of people who are very, very smart and have a ton of knowledge and have extreme clarity, but you know, they're broke and they, they don't really, they're not really happy and they don't have um, what they want to have in their lives because they haven't built positive momentum. They haven't taken the action to actually achieving what they want to achieve. So how do you build momentum? Well, um, first you really need to understand like what momentum is. It is literally a physical force. Like it, it, it is a force in this universe. Think of like a plane when a plane is taking off in the beginning, it's, it's like kind of cruising onto the runway and just super, super slow. Like we all know that feeling just sitting in the, on the runway and just waiting to take off. And you're kind of just like, pop, 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 pop. And then all of a sudden what happens? The engines go on and boom, you just take off. And at a certain point you start gliding because you've built up so much momentum. The plane has built up so much momentum. That's how this giant metal 
bird can fly, right? This thing weighs tons, and it can just cruise up in the air for miles and miles and miles all around the world. How? It's because it has momentum behind it. It's the same thing with your business. If you don't start building momentum, like if you try to just cruise, right, without actually building that momentum, you're going to... Um, you're not gonna achieve much and you're not gonna stay there for very long, right? Momentum is the force that actually keeps you going because it's one thing to build momentum and it's another thing to sustain momentum. So first you need to build momentum by taking small steps, right? So for example, like me, when I was going through this course, I, I watched the videos and then I executed immediately and that's how I blew past everyone. Uh, and again, I don't say that in a competitive way, I'm just, that's literally what happened. Like there were people who had the same exact course and information as me, Yet, and we're in the program for months and they were just kind of stuck there. They had the clarity, but they were just there, not doing anything with it. And I came in and I needed to pay my credit card bill, so I had no other option. So I was just taking massive action. And then, you know, nothing, 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 nothing for two weeks. And then boom, at the end of that second week, it was $14,000, it was $14,000 in commissions because I built up so much momentum. And usually when you're building momentum, you don't see any results no results, no results, no results, and then boom. It's kind of like exponential, kind of like that plane taking off, right? It's just like, um, there's a, I've heard that a, a plane uses 80% of its fuel taking off, right? Because that's where the most of the energy is. When you've built momentum, you can then put systems in place to sustain momentum, which again comes back to clarity. You need to know how to do that, and there are definitely ways to do that. But when you've built momentum and you're sustaining momentum, if you look at a graph of your, your your business journey, it's going to literally look like an exponential graph, like nothing, 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 and boom, results. And usually that reflects back on the quality of your life, which is pretty cool. So it's really important to um, act on this information and, and really take that, that necessary action to make it a reality. Just start with small steps, you know, watch a video, understand what you need to do, find a product, whatever, right, and then go do it. And then you're gonna wanna do the next step because you're investing into yourself and you're, you're feeling the force of momentum you know, uh, pushing you. It's, it's more of like, it's like if you jump in a, a river and the river's just taking you and it, you can't even like stop because the, the, there's such a force taking you. Like an object at rest wants to stay at rest. An object in motion wants to stay in motion. And that's why momentum is so powerful because when you build it and continuously build it and sustain it, you're just going to keep going more and more and more and you're just going to keep going up, 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 right? And you know, there's obviously little downturns as well, but it's going to be an upward uh, curve. So it's really important to build momentum. That is a huge key that most people don't understand. They think, you know, they get the course and they go through the thing and they do one little action like, oh, why didn't I get the result yet? It's because you haven't built momentum. You just, you did the first part, you rolled onto the runway. You gotta keep going. And then things get easier when you, when you have that force behind you. So when you have clarity and momentum together in perfect unison, you really, man, you crush business. Like it just becomes so much easier, so much more enjoyable. Uh, it just, there's, there's way less stress. Like that is one of the biggest keys is avoiding all that stress and anxiety because it's totally not necessary. This can be really fun. And it, when you know what you need to do, why you want to do it and um, you know how you're going to do it, how you're going to accomplish it, and then you just go do it, you see results pretty damn fast, like faster than anything else. But most people aren't aware of this. They just don't know to look for the, the right roadmap first. And, they, and then once they have the roadmap, they kind of start there. So if you put these together and learn how to leverage these and, and really harness these and not have them kind of take control over you, but you have control over them, you're going to see amazing results very, very quickly. So I hope this video helped. This is literally taking me like five years <laughs> to bring to you. I know it seems simple and I can explain it on a little whiteboard here now, but this took a long time to figure out and it was really painful, like really, really painful from negative bank accounts to, um, I'm pretty sure that would be considered depression, um, anxiety, stress, like a lot of bad shit to bring you this little video. So I hope it helped. I hope you see the, the power and impact of this and I hope you use it in your life and in your business because it will, you'll see amazing results from this. So if you want more business insights like this, if you want more clarity and if you want help building momentum, schedule a call with our team. Really, it will be so powerful. You'll get like exactly what you need to do. If you wanna build a, a lifestyle business that will give you time, location, and financial freedom, trust me, this will be one of the most powerful calls you take all year. We really care about helping the right people. If you're not 
a good fit for working with us. We're going to tell you that straight up. But if we know with 100% certainty that we can help you build this and, and really win and build momentum through clarity very, very quickly, we're going to, you know, we're going to help you out. And that's why we created Elevate Entrepreneurs is to, to bring in the new generation of entrepreneur, the people who are really changing the world and, and doing it with the right intentions and, and are focused on building a better world once they have that, that ultimate version of their business and of themselves. So if you're interested in, in gaining a bit more clarity and momentum, schedule a free call with our team below. And uh, I look forward to, to seeing you on the call. So take care. I'll see you on the next one.